Hello, uh, today is a bit of a short video and it's to test the new NPERF uh, desktop application uh, with my five gigabit a second uh, internet connection. Um, so you might have seen in the previous videos that I'm uh, testing a five gigabit a second uh, full fiber connection. Um, so uh, I, I've done, uh, like I said, videos on that, uh, testing the performance uh, with various applications before and I thought it'd be uh, useful to uh, test it out on the, the, the new, the new um, NPERF application. So you can download the application itself on NPERF's website. I'll uh, include a link in the video description uh, so you can go straight to it. Um, so essentially, uh, so first of all, what is NPERF? Well, NPERF is, um, well, it was up until now just a, a website you can use to test the performance uh, of your internet connection. So that includes uh, your speed, uh, but also things um, like latency, jitter, um, how how websites load, etc., um, and, and and video streaming. So what they've done here is they've uh, now launched a desktop application. Um, so other services like speedtest.net, uh, for example, have already had um, desktop applications for a few few years. Um, and essentially, the benefits of it is, especially when you get to multi gig speeds, when uh, you're talking about multi-gig speeds and you're trying to test that in the browser, then you can run into a limitation that the, the browser um, can have on that, uh, which I have seen uh, with the likes of NPIRF and speedtest.net in the past, uh, whereas you can get higher speeds using the desktop application. Obviously, up until now, you've not been able to do this with NPIRF, so not really been able to fully utilise NPIRF um, on my 5 gigabit connection as a, as a, as a benchmarking uh, tool. Um, so yeah, so you can see they've got one for Windows, Mac and Linux. Um, so obviously I'm, a, I'm on a Windows machine here. Um, so obviously you just download the application and, and then you just uh, run it. So when you open it up, um, you get this nice screen here. Um, and the first thing you can do is, so it will automatically uh, pick a, a server, uh, depending on, on your location, I suppose another fact is, um, now I found when I was testing the, the one that it automatically picked uh, wasn't the, the best performance for my uh, connection. Because um, as you know, with broadband, you've got peering. So it depends how good your peering is to certain things. So even uh, if, if a server says it you know, supports 10 gig, uh, but if the peering between your ISP and that particular uh, test server isn't great, then you're not going to get that performance. Um, so especially if you're talking about multi-gig speeds again, you're going to want to, you can have a play around with it anyway, but you want to go to the um, server selection and uh, and pick one. Obviously, you want to pick one, ideally that's close to your world, ideally in the same country. Um, I mean, it is a good tool, you know, if you want to test it, how fast your connection is to various countries, it's a good way of testing it. You see they've got test servers in various countries. Um, and what you do when you see them in on the map, you can, you can hover over the points and you can see it's got multiple ones, you know, in different cities. And what you'll see is you'll, you'll see the uh, speed there that each one supports. And, um, you know, if, if it's a gold one or a uh, blue one, but yeah. So obviously the ones that are one gig a second, that's no good. If, if you're testing a multi gig connection, um, you're going to want to pick a 10 gig one again. It's good to have a play around uh, um, to test different ones to see which ones give you, uh, you might get better performance. Like I said, it's all to do appearing and everything like that. And, and it can be down to how busy the server is. Um, so I, I've gone for um, one that's called uh, Data uh, Packet. That seemed to perform the, the, the best for me at the time. Um, I'll go on to that in a little bit. The first thing is before you launch any sort of test like this, um, it says here, it's got a nice write-up about it, but yeah, uh, it's really good advice. Uh, first of all, to fully test your internet connection, your broadband connection, you want to be uh, using a, um, a PC or, or device that's hardwired into your router ideally, uh, because you don't want to be testing your Wi-Fi performance, you want to be testing your internet performance. So um, definitely use one that is um, cabled directly into your router if you can. Um, and then obviously performance wise, especially talking multi-gig, um, you're going to want 
make sure that your PC is powerful enough. You can see when you start to run the test, you can keep it on your CPU um, activity, etc. If you find you're testing your connection and your CPU is maxing out, then that's a bottleneck, uh, essentially. But the other things to bear in mind is to make sure that you're doing nothing else on your uh, broadband connection. So in the ideal world, you disconnect all your other clients. You just have the one PC or laptop connected directly to your router. And even on that laptop and PC, you make sure there's nothing else going on in the background. No updates, no game downloads. Um, you've got nothing else running to give you that, you know, um, that, 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 that uh, more accurate benchmark there. So that's how it looks. So yeah, so the, uh, so the full test will we'll run through now. Um, so we'll click on that. So the first thing it's going to do is test the download speed. Um, as you can see there, we're getting around one and a half, but if you look at it here, so I always have the task manager open to see the actual throughput. So we have been reaching almost two gig download. And then it's going to do the upload speed. Again, we're just getting oh, almost three gig a second on that. So yeah, let's test the, the upload there. Uh, next, we're going to test the latency. So you see that's getting, uh, that's pretty much my latency of about 10 milliseconds. So that's quite good. So you can see that's that's quite close to where my internet um, is. So this next test is testing the browse, browsing um, popular websites, see how, how it performs in loaded web, websites. Um, it's like sort of real world testing, you know, not because speed's not everything in terms of, of real world testing. Now it's doing a streaming test. Um, so it starts off at low resolution, like 360p, then moves up to the higher resolution, um, 720p and 1080p, uh, finally. This again is real world testing. Uh, this sort of thing you'll be using the internet connector for at the end of the day. Um, so this is the sort of things you want to be testing to make sure that your internet connection not only is you've got just the speed there, but you've also got the uh, performance of loaded websites and streaming. So you can see here, uh, it's now finished the test. Uh, it's given me a score of 203,406, uh, which sounds good. Um, you can see it's got the stats down here. So the, the um, download speed, the average is upload speed, uh, latency, including the jitter, which is important. Uh, so with um, obviously with speeds, download and upload speed, the higher the better. Latency is that it's it's the opposite. It's lower latency, lower jitter is the uh, is, is 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 better. Um, that's the responsiveness of your connection. Um, really helps with online gaming, for example. Um, and then the browsing test, you can see that's that's really good. And the stream test, as well, always hundred percent there. Um, you can go a bit further here. You can analyze it, so you can that's analyzing the speed there as it's going along, and the latency as well at the same time because the other thing is is when you're maxing out your connection uh, you can suffer something that's called buffer bloat so it, it hasn't happened here and i don't suffer from buffer bloat on my connection because so i've got mitigation in place but it, it, essentially um on some connections when it's maxing out the latency will jump up um and that can cause problems if you're maxing out your download speed or upload speed for example then the whole internet basically calls to a, a stop so um, that's another thing you can uh, test using this, but there is other dedicated buffer bloat testing you could do, and I've got a uh, blog on that I can link to. Uh, you can compare to um, uh, other ISPs. Um, so these are obviously based on real world testing. Uh, as you see, this is a country average. I'm in the United Kingdom, 986 tests done, and yeah, so you can see how, how it compares. So my test, 203,000. Yeah, it is above the the average. Um, it's not enough local <laughs> test apparently to uh, compare to. Um, and if you really want to, you can you can share it. Um, so yeah, so that's the that's the full test. Uh, what you can also do as well is if you don't want to always do the full test, maybe you just want to do speed test. Uh, this is handy for especially for picking the um, <laughs> the best. Uh, testing server for you uh, so it's what I did because obviously the full test could take a you know a few minutes um, so you can just do a uh, 
a test. So for example, I wanted to pick a different server. Um, maybe I wanted to pick that one in Wales. There we are. Oops. Let's pick that one and then we'll do, that's just, this is just a speed test. So you can see, oh look, we're getting a bit better on that one today. Oh no, and it drops down. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can see how, how you can get different results, obviously best, um, different uh, tests there, so. Um, yeah, one and a half, oh no, it's, it's going up a bit. Again, just, uh, it goes down. There we go. And latency. Yeah, see, latency is a bit higher because it's because my connection basically goes to from uh, Shropshire down to London, um, and then obviously this is then going from London to Wales, so it's adding five milliseconds onto the latency. But yeah, so again, and then you can do the analysis there and uh, comparisons. Um, and again, you can do the same for the browser or through test. You can do that independently as well. Now, uh, you might be asking the question that, uh, well, you might be saying, well, I thought you had a five gigabit connection. Well, yes, I do. Um, and if you can see here, this is another handy thing is you can go to the history of it. You can record all your tests. So you see these are the full tests I did. Um, if we go to the speed test though, so, when I was trying to find the best, um, at the time, testing server, you can see here. Uh, so the test I did the other day, this was on that data packet. So it was that same test server that we tested with on the, the full test just, just, just now. So you can see the other day I was getting uh, pretty much the, the full uh, 5 gig down and almost uh, 4 gig up. Um, and actually on the, on the bandwidth it was pretty much maxing it out. Um, over here, so, uh, so yes, yeah, so that was the 10th of April and I was testing that and I was pretty much getting the maximum out of uh, my connection. But since then, as you can see, uh, the performance today isn't that great. So these are the tests I see I've done today to record this video or to prepare for this video. Um, we're testing various servers, but yeah, I've not reached anywhere near as high as I did um, the other day. Now, the only thing I can think of at the moment is uh, the other day they did have a, uh, so it's full farm, had a major outage, uh, like network wide, affected all the uh, ISPs on the on the network. Um, so I think since then, you know, it's come back and, you know, I think it's not, as you can see, the speed isn't, you know, fully there. Um, I've noticed as well, it's, uh, you know, you've blown certain websites and like it's not been as responsive as it normally is. So, I think, yeah, I think I'll put it down to that. <laughs> that's, that's the thing, it's, it, you know, and this is why it's good to, to do these tests regular as well, because, um, you know, your internet can be um, uh, impacted by various things and uh, it could be, you know, the ISP connection it has uh, degraded now. On the full fiber connection, that shouldn't really happen, uh, obviously, unless upstream, uh, the, the ISP and then the peering are having problems. Um, sometimes they switch to a different peering or different links um, and the performance isn't quite there. Um, but yeah, so that's essentially the NPERF uh, app in the uh, nutshell. Um, you do have settings here. Um, you can do, yeah, you can set the default test on startup. Um, you can set the bitrate unit uh, if you prefer it to be in a different measurement, um, language and protocol, HTTP, HTTPS. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. It's quite, it's, it's a nice app. Um, you know, you can use this in conjunction with, um, you know, speedtest.net. Te speed They've got an application for Windows as well. Um, and other ones, um, it's good to have a, you know, a range of tools to, to benchmark your internet, especially if you, um, getting a new internet connection or anything like that um, and you want to monitor it see, see if you actually get the speed that they promise you um, and as well because uh, some you know most internet providers in this is in the UK but um, probably have some of the systems around the world as well you, you have a you know minimum speed guarantee you know or a promised speed so you can use this uh, to test that and you know you can do regular tests and you got that history there you got 
you can you can export you can say you can share these results so you can use this as well as speed test not to, to prove um you know if there's a if you get lower speeds than your promise then you can use this to show to your isp and, and get them to, to hopefully fix the issue or give you some money off um but there we are yeah i'll uh, yeah i'll provide the links to download the app um and to my website ftp fttppro.co.uk rather uh, where you can find loads of useful blogs um, on things like buffer bloat, speed testing, and having to do a full file boat, basically. And um, I've got my email address on there, phone number, so you can uh, reach out if you've got any questions. Uh, yeah, that's that's it for this video. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.